How can there be such a huge open space all the way down here? It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. This place is teeming with life, but why? Because we're approaching Fodra's core. Fodra's core. What's wrong, Pascal? You seem quiet. Well, this place is filled with plants and animals and whatever, right? Right. I had the same thought when we saw the flowers, but... Hey, Pascal, come on. You're starting to worry me. There's one thing that should be here, but isn't. Which is... Humans. There aren't any humans here. Exactly. Look at how beautiful this planet is with no people around. I think that's why Fodra's been trying to eliminate all the humans. And this place is the result. No way! The little queens were born from Fodra's core in order to protect it. That would seem to match with what we've seen so far. Remember what Fourier said about how creatures adapt to survive? Well, it looks like the core had that ability too. If humans were here, they'd eventually suck the core's Elith dry. I think Fodra is just trying to defend herself. So what does that make us? From Fodra's perspective, we would seem like the very personification of evil. Well then, it looks like the cavalry has arrived. Humans. It is time to die. Perish now. And prepare the way. For a brighter future. Everyone stay on your game! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
seen a more tenacious foe. They must really hate us. Please, stop! They are not your enemy. We hate them. We must destroy all humanity. We should keep fighting them. It's just starting to feel wrong. I agree. The fight feels wrong to me as well. We're not here to destroy Fodra. We just want to let it know that humans can change. And that we're not the same as we were a thousand years ago. Asbel. Okay, everyone. Let's get to the core.
won't take. You are the only one who can be Shining Blade of Triumph! Let's go!
as a daughter, it's now my responsibility to carry on Asbel's legacy. I must do everything I can to carry his hopes and dreams into the future. If Asbel is your father, does that make Sharia your mother? Yes. And Pascal is my big sister, and the captain is my grandfather. Hubert used to be my big brother, but... If I'm Asbel's child, I guess he's my uncle now. I see. So you can be my new big brother, Richard. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> Your big brother, is it? Well done, sire. You're the last to join the family and still nabbed the best position. Would you like me to massage your shoulders for you, Grandpa? Oh, that would be lovely, grandson. Isn't it great? We're all one big family. Yeah. Ah, a little to the right there, Sonny. Your shoulders sure are stiff, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, ah, you're getting a little rough there, Sonny. Ah. Your bones. <laughs>